Hi, and welcome to my channel. My name is Lolex. Today we'll be taking a look at the OET listening test, section A. This is the first part of two videos for OET listening, section A. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the first 12 questions in the OET listening test, and we will try to answer them as we go along. Try to pay attention to the recording as it is being spoken and try to answer the questions as we go along. So at the beginning of each extract in the OET listening exam, you will get 30 seconds to look at the questions. Uh, we won't be doing that this time. We'll just go through them one by one and look at the questions as they come. Let's get started. So the first one is on the blank of his left hand. So right there, we can make some guesses. It could be the back of his hand, the front of his hand, the fingers of his hand, something similar. Let's take a listen. Jake Ventor, please come in and take a seat. Thanks. Okay, now I understand from your GP that you've got a problem with your hand. Yes, uh, I went to see a couple of weeks ago because of a sore on my left hand. Uh, I've had it for years, but not all the while. You know, it appears, then it gets better, right. then it comes back. It's here on the palm. So at the beginning, he says he has a sore on his left hand, but not where it is. And by the end of that sentence, he says he specifies that it's on the palm of his left hand. So the answer to number one is palm. Now the next que question is preceded by blank. So we can guess that, or we can understand from the question that before the sore comes on the palm of his hand, something else appears and we have to pay attention to that. Let's listen. It's almost gone now, but she wasn't sure what it was. So she said I'd better see a dermatologist. She took a photo. Did you get that? I did. I did, yes. So, so tell me about the condition, how it feels. and. Well, um, I always know when I'm going to get it because I have this itching beforehand. Right. So right there, the patient says that he always knows when he's going to get it because he has an itching before it appears. So the answer to number two is preceded by itching. The next question is then blank form and join up. Let's listen. I wake up at night wanting to scratch the area, though I try to stop myself. <laughs> Good. Um, then a few hours later, I get one or two little blisters and they gradually get bigger and join up into one big one. And here the patient says that he gets blisters that join up and form into one big one. So the answer to number three is then blisters form and join up. The next question is, GP describes appearance of lesion as blank. So from there, we can assume that it's some sort of adjective, a describing word, uh, could be appears dry or something similar. Let's see. It all feels a bit hot, uh, and the skin around it goes red. When I showed this to the doctor, she used the word chaotic to describe it. And there he says that when he showed it to the doctor, she used the word chaotic to describe it. So the answer to number four is GP describes appearance of lesion as chaotic. The next question is also had a lesion on his blank, never occurred there. So right, right from the question, we can understand that somewhere else, uh, a lesion had appeared at some point, but just the one time, never again. And let's pay attention to what he says and try to catch that. Anyway, it, it gradually dries up and I get a scab. Then after about two weeks, that falls off and there's just a little red patch like you can see now. Okay. I've been getting it for years. Um, 
I actually got it the first time when I was in China in the 1990s. Mm. I had a job there for a couple of years before mm -hmm. I came back here. That first time, I also had a similar sore on my chest, but that's never come back. And there he says that he had a similar sore on his chest that's never come back. So the answer to number five is lesion on his chest. The next question is not becoming more blank. Let's take a listen. But the one on my hand, that comes back every year or so, but never in exactly the same place. I thought it had sorted itself out because I didn't get it for a couple of years, but then it came back. Right. So uh, there's, no, there's no pattern. It's not getting more frequent or anything. And right there he says, it's not getting, getting more frequent or anything. So the answer to number six is not becoming more frequent. Uh, the next question is uh, no apparent link to general state of health, blank, or stress. So we can pay attention to when the patient talks about his health or stress, and there will be a third word in there that we will use as the answer. And it doesn't seem linked to anything in my daily life, like uh, it doesn't seem to happen when I'm run down, for example, or or because of anything in my diet, or if I'm under a lot of pressure at work, that kind of thing. So right there, he talks about pressure at work, which is equal to stress. Uh, he also says it doesn't uh, appear to be anything related to being run down, which is the same as saying his general state of health. And the third thing he says with that is about his diet. So the answer to number seven will be no apparent link to general state of health, diet, or stress. The next question, number eight, is blank on lower back in 2006. No sign of recurrence. So right there, we can understand that it's some sort of medical condition that he had on his lower back and no sign of recurrence. It didn't happen again. Let's take a listen. Okay. So the doctor thought you needed to have a look. Also because I had a malignant melanoma on my back that was removed in 2006. Right. It was at quite an early stage and it hadn't got too deep. Okay, well, that's good. And right there, he says that he had a malignant melanoma on his lower back in 2006 that was removed. So the answer to number eight is malignant melanoma. Question number nine is reports no history of blank. So if we just pay attention to the question or answer to number eight, which is malignant melanoma, could be cancer. So it might be reports no history of cancer or some other medical condition in relation because it is under medical history. So let's listen for any other medical conditions that he says. Still, I'll just have a look at your back. Mm -hmm. Was it down here? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Well, yeah, that all looks absolutely fine. Well, I don't think you need to worry about anything sinister here. Uh, by the way, have you ever had cold sores? No, never. But I did wonder if this thing on my hand was something like that. Okay, right there, the doctor asked him whether he has ever had cold sores. And he says, no, never anything like that. So that is the answer to number nine. He reports no history of cold sores. Question number 10 is advised that blank was unlikely to be effective. So right from there, we can guess that it's some sort of medication because when we say unlikely to be effective, we're talking about uh, something not working. And since this is a doctor's visit and he's come for a sore, uh, he's probably asking about some sort of medication. Let's listen. In fact, I wanted to ask you about that. There's an antiviral cream you can use, isn't there, to stop them developing. 
I wondered if you could prescribe me something like that. Look, the trouble is these work well on the mouth because the skin's very thin there, but I'm afraid they won't have any effect in your case because the skin on your hand's so much thicker. So the patient asked the doctor whether if she can prescribe him an antiviral cream. But the doctor disagrees and says that it works on the mouth because of the skin type, but it's unlikely to work on the hand. So there we have the answer to number 10, advice that antiviral cream was unlikely to be effective. Question number 11, told him to take care if the skin is blank. So right there, we can see that it's something to do with the state of his skin. Could be dry, wet, hot, cold, uh, or something of that nature. Oh, uh, I see. Um, yeah. uh, well, something else that worries me is whether there's a chance of infection. Should I be covering the place up? No, no, you don't need to unless there's broken skin. Right. So the doctor says that he only has to pay attention if the skin is broken. So the answer to number 11 is broken. Question number 12 is a blank will be arranged. Let's pay attention to the transcript. Good. It's fine. And it's not actually having an impact on my quality of life or anything like that. It's something I can live with. I mean, I have done for all these years. Okay, so, so really, the reason you went to the doctor after all these years was just to see if there was any way we could prevent this happening. Mm, yeah. Okay, well, at this stage, the best thing to do is organise a biopsy. It might be a bit uncomfortable, but it means we can rule certain things out. And there we have the answer to number 12. The doctor says that at this stage, the best thing to do is to organise a biopsy. Organise is just another word for arrange. So the answer to number 12 is a biopsy will be arranged. With that, we've come to the end of today's video. The second part of OET listening test section A will be posted soon. If you have any questions or doubts, please leave a comment. Thank you.